God's children and rainbow angels. This is Minister P of Let's Pray Ministries. God spoke to me last night within my dreams and he wanted all of us to hear this and understand this. We sit there and we're fighting against prejudice. We're fighting against mistreatment. We're mourning deaths of people we have lost due to race, creed, color, and gender and religion. What is prejudice? It's a hatred toward who you are, what you are, and the statistic of what they heard you are. It's judgmental. We need to show them a new way. They are being prejudiced to us. So many have been prejudiced because of who we are. Yet we riot in the same matter as being prejudiced. Are we not being prejudiced with the hatred and the virus, violence and the anger? They have shown us what it is. They are teaching us what it is. We are being what it is. Now don't get angry. That's not what God wants. He wants you to have faith. You can protest but peacefully, as Martin Luther King did. You can be upset and angry, but use knowledge before you jump in anger to hurt. Kneel to your knees with faith. We want to teach them how to treat us in order to teach a person how you want to be treated. You must treat them the same. Do not show barbaric manners and savage outbreaks of burning cars and buildings. That's letting them say, this is why we are being mistreated. This is why they do the things they do to us. Let us protest peacefully. Let's make petitions. Let's walk silently. We shall overcome this. Don't let these deaths be made in shame. When they remember the names, they remember the riot and the blames. Let these deaths be a symbol a symbol of righteousness and justice, a way to make things change. We want no more pain. We want to just be the same. We are all God's children. We want to be loved just like loves us. We can't change the world, but we can change the way people treat us. This is Minister P. I'm praying for all of you. Let us have wisdom, grace, and learn the right way to proclaim the righteousness we all deserve. God bless. I pray for all of you, your families and friends. I pray that we still stay safe against the coronavirus and we stay safe against injustice. God bless. Take care.